Well, uh, hello everyone. Uh, it's been a while since I've last uploaded a video. I'm playing some TF2 as the Medicine Man with the uh, Kutzkrieg, the Ubersaw, and the Crusader's Crossbow. Because you know, why would you use any other weapons as medic? Um, here on upward, I'm playing Face It TF2, which is a uh, topic of this video. I wanted to talk about it. Uh, give my opinion. Okay, I wanted to give my opinions on it. Uh, I've seen a lot of uh, videos. I, I tried to watch a good number of videos about Face It before I uh, made this video, before I gave my two cents on it, just sort of see if anyone could bring to light any information that I was not aware of. Um, and yeah, I did actually uh, find a few things that I wasn't quite sure about. So um, yeah, I mean, my overall experience with Face It has been pretty good. Um, I do have some things that I'm not too crazy about, but, you know. Uh, I first heard about Face It through uh, Big Joey, actually. Uh, he made a video on it. I had seen it and decided, oh, well, alright. Uh, I immediately decided to download it right after I saw Joey's video. Um, and I think I actually got the beta a few days later, maybe even the next day. Um, so I've been playing Face It for a little bit longer than it's uh, been like officially fully released. Um, I want to say maybe like an extra three, four days possibly. Uh, I don't feel like it was a full week, but I have a very terrible uh, measurement of time. I, I'm not very good at... a measurement of time it's uh something that my brain struggles with it just can't quite comprehend time but uh, oh that's a yep that was a spy yeah i don't actually ever think i've mentioned it on this channel but i do really really like tf2 i've been playing it ever since i was a, uh, ever since i was a little little kid i've been playing it um ever since i was a little squeaker on the minecraft trade server i have been uh playing this game for a very long time and, uh, yeah, I've been having a ton of fun with it. Uh, I've only started really, like, playing it seriously. I, I, okay, I, just, I don't know why I do a freaking crits. I got scared. Thought there may have been more people along with that demo man, but guess not. Um. But, yeah, I want to try and do some more TF2 videos, but, uh, for now, I'm going to talk about, uh, Face It. So... Uh, I did actually see a video, um, I, I, I did actually see some other videos about Face It. Uh, I don't know what they were called or who made them. If I can find the channel, I'll put the video up. But uh, I guess, first things first, I can sort of talk about the pros, and then we can talk about the cons. Um, I'm playing this, uh, I, I'm, I'm doing this commentary live, by the way, so if I'm ever, any, any long periods of silence... Uh, that's why I'm not very good at uh, talking and playing video games at the same time. Even though whenever I do play video games, I talk all the time. Um, it's usually not like constant talking, though. I mean, sometimes it is. It's just that when I'm recording, for some reason, I just run out of things to say. So, apologies for that. And uh, if you can hear my keyboard as well, um, I do have a very, very obnoxiously loud mechanical keyboard. That's a sniper. Um... So I do apologize if you can hear that. I'll try to put a um, a noise gate on my voice to prevent that. But yeah, uh, so I the main reason why I downloaded Face It TF2 in the first place. Uh, let's hear. Let's see if I can find someone to give this crits. You. Oh boy. I think I uh, switched de <laughs> demo man halfway through that. Um, the reason why I downloaded Face It TF2 was because of no random crits and uh, none of the cheater bots, as well as no random bullet spread. Um, I don't like random crits. I don't like random bullet spread. Um, and I was very happy to hear that we were finally getting some uh, matchmaking platform that would find servers that have those things disabled. So, uh, yeah, it's great. And uh, no cheater bots. Uh, I, I will talk about bots later. But uh, the, the hacker, cheater, sniper bots that like spin around, 
you know, you're not going to be seeing those. Some other pros of basic TF2 are uh, the whole point system. Uh, there's actually a reward system you can play and earn points. Did I kill him? <laughs> nice. You play and you get points and you can use those points to purchase items like uh, hats and stuff. So uh, it is a really cool system. I think it's great for players who don't, you know, who maybe don't have a lot of items who are looking to maybe, you know, get some uh, cool items, maybe try to find a nice set for their uh, class of choice, you know. I think it's great for people who maybe like don't really have uh, the patience for trading. But honestly, uh, I think it's I think it'd be a lot easier to get the patience for trading rather than the patience to get all this, get all these points and stuff. The reason I say that is because you have these uh, missions uh, where basically uh, you're given about a hundred points for completing one of these missions. Uh, you also have like missions that are slightly harder they take slightly longer to do and you get about 500 points for beating one of these missions but then you see a mission that gives you 14,000 points for completing it and you're when you're wondering how do i how do i how do i do that one well you have to buy a premium subscription to face it and uh you know with these this is a free matchmaking platform so i understand they got to make money somehow and the fact that they have a premium subscription isn't really what bothers me it's uh, the fact that if you want access to these premium missions, you have to purchase a f subscription to like all the games that Face It uh, offers matchmaking for. Uh, so that means you have to pay for CS:GO and you have to pay for Rocket League uh, and Dota 2. It, you know, and, and it's just it's not really like you know I don't I don't play. God, those crossbow shots are so bad. Uh, you know, I don't really play CSGO, I don't really play Dota 2, I mean, I do play Rocket League from time to time, but, like, not too often. Not often enough to where I'd want, like, a matchmaking platform for it, you know? And, uh, you know, I guess maybe it's not that big of a deal, because it's, I mean, buying a subscription for just one game costs only about half as much as it would if you bought, uh, like, a subscription to the entire platform, like, all the games. So... It's not. Is that a. Is that the, that's a spy, wasn't it? It had to have been. Why was he not attacking? What? It wasn't a spy? Okay. I'm confused. That is. That's a spy. There we go. Thanks for the free crits. Me and you. Ah, oh, spy. Dang, that was a good crits. Sick! What was was that? Was that the? Oh, that was the contract thing. Okay, I was. <laughs> that was okay. I've never heard that line before. Um. But, yeah, I, I just don't really see why you couldn't just. I need to start watching my back now. That's why he's killed me way too many times. Spy and shed. Is that what he said? I mean, that, that was true. Um, so, yeah, I just don't really see why you would have to purchase all the games. If you just wanted premium for one game, then why, you know, why not just purchase one game, you know? It just doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. And I understand that companies, you know, you got to make money somehow, but, eh, you know, even still. I'll get it. That's a spy. This guy was a really good crit, so I'm going to crit him again. Next big push they get. This guy needs heals. That is a sniper. Let's see if I can... Let's see. Let's, let's get you healed up, and let's crit you. Let's go. Oh, they got it. Dang, that's unfortunate. Here, let's see. Compliment him. But uh, honestly, I 
I think that's all the good things I really got to say about Face It. There are a lot of cons. I, I do have a mostly positive experience with Face It, but there are many, many cons. Uh, so I guess the first con, that's probably going to be the most apparent one if you were to play Face It, especially uh, when it first started. Everyone's in the same rank right now. So you have everyone in the lower ranks uh, where you're still earning points even for losing matches. And it's not really, um, it's not really good because, you know, the big players, the really good players are mixed, are mixed into matches with players who, you know, are rather new. And that's not good because, ah, oh, man. That isn't good because there's going to be a lot of matches that are just complete, complete steamrolls. Uh, I've experienced many of these matches. I've been on the roll side, and I have been on the side getting rolled. Um, and it's not fun either either way because you don't want a match of... Oh no, that, that is, that's very unfortunate. Uh, you don't want a match of TF2 to last... Um, like two minutes long you know that's not what you want you want to have a challenge you want to have fun you know you want the other team to have fun too because you know if you see like bg in the chat at the end of matches uh you know and it's because you know he the dude's not just being salty is because they genuinely just didn't have fun you know you hate to see it i gotta follow this guy there was no way i could go hopefully we can get a crits up there Oh man, I thought there'd be a lot more people. Um... Oh no. Yeah, that, that is unfortunate. But yeah, the uh, matchmaking is very strange right now. Uh, it's, it's going to sort of fix itself over time, obviously. That's a spy. Ah, I probably should have kept on following him, honestly. <laughs> Get me down here. Um, but yeah, that is, um... Probably face its biggest issue right now. Oh, that's a... Yeah, take care of that spy. <laughs> no! Oh, god. I'm surprised we're still holding this. They got really close not long ago. God, that sentry gun. Oh my god, I'm I'm very scared. I don't know when. Ah yes. That happens as well. Uh the all the servers are in Dallas, so if if you're far away, you know, you might have your fair share of uh, connection issues. I've had a couple. Um, oh no! Yeah, no, 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 no. That was those were flog flames right there. No, we, we don't we don't play around with flog flames. Get these guys off this point! I don't know, dude. I'm just critzing. Oh my god, I just freaked out. Yeah, there we go. GG's. GG's. But uh, another one of face its issues is uh, the connection. I wouldn't say... I think I've seen it worse for some people, you know, because it creates some situations where the server will lag behind and you know I've seen it once before in a game where uh, we had we had a medic uh, that used crits and just walked into the um or like walked off the edge uh, of the cliff at the uh second point and upward and uh you know you hate to see it you know what this guy this guy uh this guy's like big pocket pocket material right here Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't want to die instantly. I have 18 health. I'm very scared. Alright, good luck, guys. See you later.
Oh, that guy had 30 health. I feel bad for not sticking around. You have a sniper on the right side. Let's get you healed up. Oh, that's a shame. Sniped. And, uh, I guess, um, this is also another huge issue. Is that is he dead? Okay, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Uh, another very big issue with Face It right now is uh, there are bots, despite the advertisement of no bots, you know, no cheaters. Well, no cheaters is correct, but you do have some of those default Valve bots that'll join in your game sometimes. I think it's because, you know, people leave in the middle of a match and, uh, you know, there's really nothing else for them to get replaced by except for just these default bots. Uh, and I think they're probably on easy mode, because I've had games, uh, on, like, I think it was Bad Water, where, uh, at the, um, at the first spawn, are you a spy? No, you're Uh, at the first spawn, I think, for, uh, the red team, uh, at that spawn, oh boy, at that spawn, I've seen just engineer bots just running directly into the wall uh, and just jumping over and over and over again and they don't ever stop and uh, it's a shame that that has to happen uh, because you know you're down players you know you're not going to come here I probably should have just boy you basically just down a couple players because you know they don't really do anything I mean sometimes we've had but I've had bots on some teams of mine that have uh done pretty well uh i had this one game where we had this heavy bot that top scored with like 50 points it was it was actually insane uh i wish i was recording it or something but i wasn't thinking at the time but it was very bizarre and uh again we had this en engineer bot that just you know jumped into a wall i've also had a game on upward actually where we had a uh engineer bot that built a teleporter exit uh, at one of the spawn doors, and then built the teleport entrance at one of the other spawn doors uh, for the blue spawn. Um, the first blue spawn. It was very, very embarrassing, and uh, yeah, it was uh, it was it was terrible to play because we were literally just down a teleporter, and we didn't have any other engineers on our team. You know, he was our he was our only shot at having an engineer, and he just had decided to. Oh, if I would have hit that. He had just decided to, you know, put his teleporter entrance and exit literally right next to each other. Oh yeah. Very, very upsetting, that game. Uh, we were very frustrated. Um, come on. Come on, let me get this engineer. Ah, oh, man, I got so close. Come on, sniper, help me out here, please! Oh my god. Thank god I, I, I turned around, he stopped. Dead in his tracks. Oh, I thought he was gonna... Oh dear god. I hit someone. All right, let's go, me and you. Was I not on him when I when I crits? That was weird. But yes, uh, but my experience so far with Face at TF2 has been very, um, very casual, honestly. A lot of people were, were trying to pass it off as what, what was it? Uh, casual TF2, but it turned out that oh no, this is this is com this is competitive casual. This is comp casual. Uh, yeah, no. It's not actually casual. It's very different. It's like, oh. Well, the application itself actually does say casual 12v12 when you're queuing. So, they did try to pass it off as casual. But it ended up being, like, slightly more competitive. Because the whole point of payload is... Oh, that's a spy. Spy! <laughs> Uh, the whole point of payload, you know, 
in casual is that you're going to uh, both teams are going to try and get as far as they possibly can well i believe it's called stopwatch uh this mode of payload and uh we have to get since uh the last team made it all the way to the end we have to make it all the way to the end within an allotted uh time limit that we've been given that was a terrible crit but I don't know if anyone thinks that this is more competitive than casual. Because I would argue the opposite. I think it's definitely more casual. I have had a couple of games where it's like, hey, let's... Oh, okay, well. <laughs> I've had a couple of games where... It's been very casual. Like, we've had uh, entire teams of short-circuit engineers just spamming short-circuit. Uh, and, you know, it's... It's fun. I would say it's definitely been more casual than it has been competitive. I haven't had any, like, drill sergeant types come in screaming at everyone for not playing their class properly. Uh, I'm very thankful for that. I don't know if anyone has ever experienced that, and if you have, then, you know, that sucks. But, yeah. So I guess that's everything that there really is to say about Face It TF2. Uh, overall, I think it's... I mean, I think it's good. There are just a couple of things that are obviously going to get better with time. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, that's about it. Um, you know, I would much rather have something like the Valve bots rather than Cheater bots, and I don't think I'll prob... I mean, as long as Face It TF2 is functional, I probably won't ever play Standard Casual again. Uh, but that's just me. Um... Maybe uh, if you have some differing opinions or, you know, if there's anything that you think you want to mention about Face It TF2, then maybe, you know, mention it. Uh, maybe you, like, write a comment about it and uh, I'll try to read everything and uh, maybe even respond. So, yeah. But I guess I can sort of talk about my channel absence, sort of like what I've been doing uh, while I haven't been uploading. Oh, wow, that was a direct. Alright, as soon as you reload. I'm gonna crit him as soon as he turns this corner. But yeah, I haven't uploaded a video since I uploaded my uh, EP. Which if you haven't checked that out, I'll probably put a one of the little info card things. I actually don't even know what they're called. I'll probably put like a... You know, I'll, I'll, I'll link to it somewhere if you're interested in checking it out. It's a synth wave. I knew I was going to get sniped. My jump just was so bad. So, yeah. Uh, if synth wave slash... Oh, this is one of those uh, bots I was talking about. The Ubermensch. Yeah, that's one of them. Um, but, yeah, if synth wave or synth pop music is your thing, then you'll probably uh, enjoy the EP. And while I'm here, I guess I can... You know, while I'm talking about it, I guess I can sort of say that uh, the songs on that EP were actually meant to be uh, for a video game that I wanted to make. I wanted to make a little uh, space shooter game uh, and that was going to have like synthwave music. Um, I'm going into too much detail about it just in case if I ever, you know, if I ever decide to actually make it. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun working on the EP and uh, I hope that you have fun listening to it if you choose to. So yeah, uh, aside from that, I haven't uploaded anything, and I do apologize for that. Uh, I'm here playing TF2. I don't think I've, um, I, I want to try and do some more TF2 videos. Um, I think it'll be fun. I have a couple of ideas for some things, but I'm not entirely sure um, if they'd be something that I'd want to do. I did not know this guy was behind me. You know what? I'm just going to crit him. Just, just kill this pyro. Okay, well, that was my fault. <laughs> I shouldn't have, uh, done that. Yeah, that was, um... Yeah, I mean, if I, I should have done that way sooner. Uh, if anyone is familiar with the Samurai Kagura franchise, uh, you'll know that my profile picture is, uh... Ninto from Samurai Kagura. Um, I do really like the Samurai Kagura franchise. Oh my god, dude. I'm getting absolutely destroyed. Well... But yeah, I'm a huge fan of the uh, Samurai Kagura franchise. I think it's really fun. 
and uh, I'd like to do some videos on it. Basically, uh, it's the road to Semran Kagura 7. If you don't know, Semran Kagura 7 was teased at the end of uh, PBS, and it's going to be the next mainline uh, Semran Kagura game uh, that ha probably will not come out, <laughs> to be 100% uh, truthful with you. Um, but, you know, I still want to play the games anyway. Uh, I wouldn't play the 3DS games because I don't own a 3DS, and I probably wouldn't play um, Reflections either. Uh, the lineup that I sort of want to do is uh, I'm going to play Estival Versus, then Peach Beach Splash, then I'm going to play, uh, what is it? Um, I believe, uh, yeah, Burst Renewal. Uh, I'm not going to play, like, Burst or... Um, Deep Crimson, but I will play Burst Renewal, uh, and I'm probably not going to play Reflections, because I, I, I do own Reflections, but I have it on Switch, and I have no way to record the Switch, so, you know, a little unfortunate, but it's fine. It's not like I'd really have much to say about that game anyway, and I'd also do Peach Ball, but I'm not going to do, like, a whole playthrough of the story, because, you know, that game probably has, it, I mean, let's be honest, story of that game would be so boring to sit through. I mean, I'd just be playing the same mission over and over and over again. So yeah, I'm just gonna play like some of the free mode, like the arcade mode, and uh, I'll just do like a review of the game. If I would play Reflections, then I would do the same thing with Reflections. Uh, and I would probably just talk about Asuka's story. I don't think I would do anyone else. Um, that's all I would do. But yeah, that seems like something that uh, might be cool. Uh, maybe tell me. I don't know. I'm probably going to do it anyway. You're a spy. Let's go. Dress... Uh, dress... <laughs> that pyro... That pyro is... Popping gaming. How did I not die? There we go. By the slump demo. How did I... Okay, I... <laughs> I literally... This is the second cosmetic today that I found. I found the, um... A, I found a spy cosmetic. I forget what it's called. But it's like the masquerade thing. I found that. And, um... <laughs> I, the big man on campus. Okay, cool. I mean... I mean, I, I, I will... I will definitely take it. That, okay, I almost... Walked right into that. I walked right into that one. Are you, are you, are you a spy? No, you're not. Looked like he was avoiding me. But yeah, um... And about the uh, FNAF retrospective series, I've decided to uh, not do that. Main reason being is that uh, around the time I started doing mine, uh, I saw I, I had watched it a couple times on YouTube just to make sure that like it was the quality that I wanted it to be. That's unfortunate. Uh, but I couldn't exactly ignore the fact that there was another YouTuber that was pretty much doing um, the same concept that I had. He was going to go through every single one of the... FNAF games and do a retrospective video on it. And I'm not trying to say that he stole my idea or anything, because, I mean, that's out of the sea of people making videos on YouTube. You gotta understand that at some point, two people are gonna have the exact same idea. It's not that far-fetched. Um, and my idea was pretty basic, too, because retrospective videos uh, are something that are pretty popular now for people to do, you know, so... Yeah, I think I'm still gonna do retrospective videos. I want to do one on Undertale, because that's a very, very influential game for me. So I would really like to do a video on Undertale at some point. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, I'm not too sure about what else I would do. I'd probably just do it on some games that I played a long time ago. Oh boy, I don't want to lose this crits. Okay, please, just get someone. <laughs> please, I have to use this. Oh my god. Thank you, medic. 
We really are not able to push this, are we? Dang. That's unfortunate. Well, uh, I think that about wraps up this video. That's pretty much all I really wanted to talk about. Just wanted to talk about a couple of things that went on with the channel, you know. Just what I'm planning on doing. Um, and uh, just wanted to talk about Face It TF2. So, uh, hope you had fun watching the video. And, uh, yeah, I will probably see you guys in the next video.